man, dressing meta humans has never been this easy. So Meta Taylor has come up with a new bridge for the Unreal Engine that makes it so much easier to dress meta humans. And I've been able to test it with Daz clothing and also some content from Epic Games itself. And uh, the way it works is that you have to install this plugin in the Unreal Engine in your project, and then you're able to send the characters to and fro to Meta Taylor and back to the Unreal Engine. So the first step that you need to do is you need to create a MetaHuman character using the MetaHuman Creator plugin. And I'll show you what this looks like. So it, this is the character that I started with. So the first step is if you've already rigged this character, make sure you click on Remove Rig. And then go to the hair and clothing section, scroll all the way down, and click on this gamut right here, and click on remove. Because you want to have a character that doesn't have any clothing for this to work. That's very important. Then when you're ready, go ahead and create a rig. Click on create a full rig right here. And also make sure that you add your 8K textures. If you, if you want, you can do 4K. But this is because you're trying to prepare the character so that it can be dressed properly and rendered. And then once the rig is done, you can then click on assemble, give the character a name, and click on assemble down here, right? It will give you a character that looks like this without any clothing, but it has that texture of the undergarments. So at this stage, this character is ready to be dressed using Meta Tailor. But you still have to do one more thing. You need to install the Meta Tailor plugin, okay? So to install that plugin, you need to have a pro account. So when you sign up, when you click on login right here, you need to sign up for a pro account to get access to this feature. Now, there's a link in the description of this video that is a promotion that has been shared with me by Meta Tailor, which you'll be able to get the pro feature, the pro account for $10. So check it out, try, try it out for $10. If you love it, then you can sign up for a longer period of time. But this is an opportunity for you to give it a try and see it. If you're a pro user, you're gonna have access to the MetaHuman bridge for the Unreal Engine. So after you download the application and install it, it and you run it, it's gonna look something like this. So this is gonna be 2.5, which has this feature. When you really click on play, and it's gonna bring up this window like this, okay? And over to the left-hand side, you're gonna see the bridge. So if you click on the bridge, you're gonna be able to see the bridge over here. And it says this option, make sure you turn it on. So it's like highlighted blue. And then click on add to project. Make sure you've browsed to your project where you have your the project that you're gonna be using for this character. And then click on add to project over here. And it's gonna ask you to locate the project. Click, go ahead and click on locate project, paste the link of that project and then double click on it, or you can click open. And once it's opened, MetaTailor is gonna automatically install that plugin into your project, and you see it here at, as MetaTailor Bridge, right there. And then you need to go back to the Unreal Engine under your plugin, so go to Edit, Plugins over here, and up at the top, you can just search for MetaTailor, and make sure this is checked and running, okay? So now that you've done that part, you set, select the character that you've made. This is a meta human that I've dragged into the scene, and that meta human is gonna be under my meta humans folder, uh, under the olive to outfits the folder where the character is. And this is the one we assembled using the meta human creator plugin, the new one that is part of the Unreal Engine in the Unreal Engine 5.6, okay? So this is the one right here. So to dress this character, now that you've already checked that the plugins are installed correctly, you click on Edit BP over here, and this window is gonna open. And the way you know that you've installed the plugin, the Meta Taylor Bridge plugin properly, is you see this option here, Content Browser, Send to Meta Taylor, and Receive from Meta Taylor. 
So if you click on the viewport right here, you can see our character has no clothing. And this is what is wild. Before we used to export this model by exporting the mesh to Meta Tailor, but you don't need to do that step anymore. You just have to have this selected. You into the edit mode of the blueprint of this character that's in the scene. And then click on send to Meta Tailor. So we're gonna click one time and it's gonna send to Meta Tailor. And here you see on the bottom right hand corner, it will say listening for Meta Tailor. That's how you know it's working. Go back to the Meta Tailor and you see it has just propped up a new option here is enter name for your project. And we're gonna call this Meta Tailor outfit, maybe it's 001. Click confirm and it's gonna bring in the character without any hassle. Before we used to have to struggle with that, just adding these textures and all of this, you don't need to do that anymore. So once you see the character here, you can even give the this avatar a name. So mine is Olive, because if you wanna use the character again later and, add, and just dress it up, you have that avatar ready. Click on next. And all of these options are ready, so you don't have to change anything. Click on next. And the only thing that you need to adjust was probably the nose tip, right? That's slightly off. So click on it, zoom in, and rotate. use the left mouse button. And just line it up to the center of the nose and also bring it to the front. Okay, so that's about right. All the other markers are automatically applied, as you can see, and these are what Meta Tailor needs to, when it's processing, when it's tailoring the clothing, it needs to know where all these landmarks are, okay? And when you're done with that, just click on Next. And then Meta Tailor is ready for you to start adding clothing to this character, okay? So in the marketplace, there are so many clothing that are available for if you have a pro account that you can use any of these or you can even use your DAS clothing. Now, I have a tutorial that I created some time back. It shows you how to use DAS clothing on Meta Humans with Meta Tailor. So if you are interested in converting dust clothing for you to use, then please go through and watch this tutorial. It's in depth and follow all the steps. And that means that all your outfits that you've been accumulating over time in your DAS project or your DAS library, all of these, are, you'll be able to use these on your MetaHuman to create maybe sci-fi, short films, or tell your own stories. And if you model something, you can use the same outfit inside of Meta Tailor. So go ahead and take a look at that. I'll put this link in the description of this video so you can have a look at that uh, tutorial. It's... So here, for example, if you click on download, it will be able to download this outfit and then you have access to it. So just go through and pick up any outfits that you feel that you want to use, right? And you can go to clothes over here. You can go to outfits. Outfits are usually combined sets. So go ahead and click on any of these. When you're ready, click go back on design. And now that's the one that we've just downloaded with the outfit, let's click on apply. And you see Meta Tailor going through and doing its thing. It's assigning and it's tailoring. And you can see actually over here, everything is ordered accordingly. So you look at that. The character outfit has been applied. And what's really neat is that if you wanted the boots to be under the pants, for example, you just simply have to drag and drop. And then Meta Tailor will go through and reorder all of that. If you wanted to tuck the dress inside of the pants, for example, this one is maybe too long, but I'll show you what I mean. So the pants are gonna be on top of the dress. So this is from this category from the marketplace. Once you make your own content, it will show up in my content over here. And so down at the bottom over here somewhere, I have 
this outfit from iClone. So I can easily assign this and I'll apply it and the pants are assigned to the character. And then you can reorder it. And we don't need these pants. We can remove them if you don't want them. And you can also move this under. So that's amazing because it's automatically ordering the clothing on top of the boots and you can add many other things on top so for example if you don't want this top you can delete it and then apply this top now you may have to remove the texture for the top but but i want to show you that so let's go back to the content browser over here so for example here are some dance clothing that i was able to convert as a like as a here's some clothing that I was able to convert from DAS. So if you want to clear all of this and start fresh, just click go on this option right here. Clear clothes and yes, clear all the layers. And then you can select another set. For example, this one. I'll go ahead and apply that. And then Meta Taylor is gonna go through and add the clothing and you can see how it's working go back to the content browser apply the top and it's tailoring and you can see how it's fixing all of that those interpenetrations right so the shirt is outside of the pants but if you reorder then the pants are able to be tucked in nicely and you can see how it's tweaking the weight so there we have the boots, we have the pants, the holster, and the outfit. Now that uh, Olive is dressed, we can then send this outfit back to that. Now, you see how it's still listening? I can then go to export over here. So when you're ready, uh, instead of uh, exporting, we're just gonna scroll down and find the Unreal Engine bridge. And now that we finished dressing Olive in the new outfit, so this outfit that came from Daz 3D, we just go ahead and send the outfit to Unreal. So let's take a quick look at uh, over here in the Unreal Engine. So there is Olive. She doesn't have any uh, outfit just yet. And in Meta Taylor, we just go ahead and click on Send Outfit to Unreal Engine. And that's really cool. Is that now, I mean, think about that. Any outfit that you have right here, all of this, this whole entire collection that you have in Dash 3D, you'll be able to send it to the Unreal Engine and uh, be able to dress your MetaHuman with it easily. We don't have, you don't have to export the mesh from the Unreal Engine as FPX. Meta Taylor automatically does it. And there we go. <laughs> it's clear. And there we go. So Olive is now dressed and we'll go ahead and compile and save, right? And click on save all. So now if I go back to the seed, we have Olive dressed in a new outfit. So if you're making like a sci-fi movie where you have some soldiers that are dressed like this or maybe like a war a short, you have the character dressed properly. You can see the boots over there and then you'll be able to add animation to this character. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys is that uh, Meta Taylor has this amazing new bridge that makes it possible for us to dress our Meta Humans from the Meta Human creator. They set up as a, a Meta Human creator character that now has an outfit that you can then add animation to. So thank you so much guys for joining me today. Uh, I hope that uh, this inspires you to take your own clothing, whether it's you, you've modeled it yourself or you have it in the Daz 3D from the Daz 3D marketplace or some other place, that you'll be able to dress a meta human easily in the Unreal Engine using the Meta Tailor Unreal Engine bridge and be able to tell amazing stories using these characters. So, and the textures <laughs> look great, they've been transferred automatically. And there's Olive in a new outfit. 
So as always, guys, dare to dream big. Do not give up on your dream. I'll see you in the next video. I want to create an animation and show you how this looks. So bye for now. Much love. And thank you to all my patrons and every person that has subscribed. I truly appreciate your support. Much love to you all. Bye for now.